Sunday, Sunday, Sunday edition of Spotting Tampa International. Oh my gosh, I arrived just in time as this Amazon 767 taxis for one nine right. Yes, Southern Operations this morning, so everybody will be using the one runway for takeoff. All right, let's just jump into the aviation action this morning. Thanks for being here. I didn't even see American on the end of the runway there. Snuck right past our Amazon heavy jet. A couple of hours to Dallas Fort Worth this morning. And I've had my Starbucks. Actually, I'm still enjoying my Starbucks, so let's get it going. Oh, badly into the wall of shame. Oh my gosh. American pretending to be United Airlines this morning. Well, that was a great start. Aha, uh -huh. Southwest. Oh, there went the lights. I was hoping to be able to see somebody in there, see if they were waving this morning. First of 12,616 Southwest coming over to this side this morning. Seven six, show us your stuff. Oh yeah. No wall of shame for these guys. Hey, a southwest. Starts its hour and 53 minute trek to BWI. I want to say thanks to all the new subscribers. I can't believe we're just so close. We're knocking on the door of 900. Thank you, everybody. Truly appreciate it. I think that was our giant aka prime area that was in the top right corner there everybody's got a little car except for me this morning where's everybody going looks like they're all leaving that cargo area is quiet as a mouse right now that's the amazon uh, loading area top of the screen let's see if anybody's over at Airborne. Who do we got in here? Uh, I can't tell. That's an Allegiant jet. It's deceptive how big, big these buildings are. Look at there's multiple jets right there side by side. But most importantly, let's salute this American flag. Looks like more horny aviation action. That's Buck, the pronghorn antelope from our friends at Frontier Airlines. Hopefully they won't have engine problems like they did yesterday. He looks sad this morning. Bravo and One year old, good looking. 737-900. Two hours to DTW, Motown. The Motor City. Looking good. Yep, Bravo 8, Bravo Victor. Victor, Victor. <laughs> Victor. Oh, I've had too much coffee this morning already. Area 51 Airlines. You know it, you love it. Hiding in the darkness. Quiet as a mouse. Can you hear those crickets? 
I love it. Either jet engines or crickets up here on the ninth floor of the short-term parking garage. Light him up. Crack Copeland, 5130 off Charlie, 42, taxi. Copeland, 5130, we're with one hour taxi via Alpha, Alpha 7, hold short of Bravo. Alpha, Alpha 7, short of Bravo. Uh, Southwest, 5130 with the Phoenix Victor. Conditions must not be conducive to early liftoff. Even Delta's in the wall of shame this morning. A320. School bus edition. Bright yellow. Making the long, 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 long flight this morning to FLL, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I think actual flying time is like 20 minutes. Yeah, no wall of shame for these guys, way to go. Southwest invading Delta headquarters, headed to ATL, the world's busiest airport, Atlanta's Hartsfield, Jackson, Maynard International Airport. 405 miles for Southwest. That's ironic because when a Delta takes off, it says 407 miles. So Delta's got it going on, or Southwest figured out how to get there two miles shorter. Figure that one out. Either way, it's still just odd to hear Southwest, or even to see when I'm up there, to see Southwest at ATL. It's like being in the enemy's camp. Fire one. The Airbus, ready for one nine right, cleared for takeoff. Hey, speaking of Airbus, in a couple weeks, I was surprised to see I'm flying a brand new A220. I've never seen an A220 even up close, I don't believe let alone flown in one. That should be pretty exciting. Now well, this A321 is ready for blast off. Ready, set, go!
finish my free parking ticket. See you in 50 seconds. That was quick. Just in time. <laughs> There's the fire drill. I wanted to make it back in time to see the A319, the mini bus. Today, 14 hours. All the way to Hong Kong on this Airbus A319, the mini bus. Can you imagine flying nonstop? I wonder how far a mini bus can even fly. How many times would it have to stop? <laughs> All right, in reality, it's making a 30 minute trip to Miami. Yeah, 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 yeah. Short, stubby, but gets the job done. See you in a minute, buddy. A little after seven, still no sun, later every day. Well, we may have passed Labor Day, but trust me, Central Florida, 81 degrees at 7 a.m. and it's still pool weather at the Marriott. Isn't that a nice looking setting? I didn't sit back having an adult beverage or two, enjoying the spotting, taking a dip in the pool. Doesn't get much better. Spirit on the Bravo Bridge. One of my favorite things about the Southern operations is basically everybody takes off from one nine right, so you get the mix of all the airlines here at TPA. That's an old-fashioned looking tug, if you ask me. I love the modern ones where it actually picks up the wheel. Those are a lot cooler.
Well, there's nothing in the air except for the pigeons, so that's going to conclude this edition of Spotting Tampa International. Hey, if you like what you saw today, <laughs> be sure to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell. See you tomorrow on another edition of Spotting Tampa International.